currently hard at work in his fight camp for his upcoming heavyweight bout versus Mario Schwach on September 17th, Kevin Larina is also excited for the start of the 2022 Ryobi Won't Quit Crew. After considering a number of entries from a variety of sports, the entry that stood out the most for him to mentor was boxer Tulani Tools Mbenge. Having created a solid career rising to IBO welterweight champion, Tools would unfortunately lose his belt by decision in 2019, then endured stop-start progress during the COVID-19 pandemic period. Looking to get back on track to rise to the top of his sport again, Kevin is excited about the prospect of mentoring Tools on his journey with the Word Quit crew. So I'm just really excited to work with Tools. It wasn't a difficult pick for me. When I heard that he entered, I was like, I want to I want to work with him. And it was purely based on his natural ability. And as we spoke about in, in previous interviews, he has the X factor. He really does. And I think if he can bring his mental game into it, bring the championship mindset and get him to always work with that underdog mentality, which I think he already has, you know, but now he's really the underdog in a sense of he was a world champion. He no longer is a world champion and needs to become a world champion. Same as me, I was a seven time IBO Cruiserweight world champion. I've now changed weight divisions. I need to become a world champion again. So I'm applying the exact, thing, exact same things that I'm using in my career with tools. And I honestly believe Tulani and Bengi with his boxing skills that he's got and a bit of uh, refining on the, in the mental aspect and the emotional stuff. Keeping that pyramid, you know, the, the pyramid that I go by is your physical, your emotional and your mental. And if all are in check, Easy sailing for Tulani and Benge. He will become world champion again. I'm a boxer from East London. I started boxing at, at the early age, around about 9, 10. Um, so, um, East London is one of the biggest cities uh, in boxing, actually. So, I'm from Tanzania, biggest second location here in South Africa where boxing is a culture. So I started in school because we, we were, I, I, was, I was fighting a lot at school. So there was a teacher called Tisha Mtusa and also he forced me to, to go and box because I wanted to do rap and soccer and all other things. But I used to fight a lot at school, so he forced me. Uh, and now I'm rated 13 in the world with 20 fights, 15 knockouts, one loss, and other fights are wins on, on points. Kevin Larina um, can help me a lot because I, I look up to him. He's preparing for a fight, now he's fighting in, in September. So I think also being part of One Quick Crew will help me a lot with learning his routine, training every day and seeing what he does every day. That's going to help me a lot to become who I want to be. You know, so uh, some of the skills that he has is also marketing. I, I love how he market himself. So I would really love to learn from, from Kevin you know, how to market myself, how to push myself as an athlete, how to get people to know my brand also. I'm comfortable with my physical abilities as an athlete, my skills and obviously inside the ring, everything that I do inside the ring, I'm comfortable with. But outside the ring, I think uh, uh, Kevin Larena is a as an example, is, is, a, is good with marketing and I think that that can help me a lot also uh, outside the ring. And, and Kevin as a, as, as a brand, like I've, I feel like there's a lot of leverage as, a, as, as an athlete I can learn from the, the, the brand Kevin Arena. So that's why I, I wanted to join One Quit Crew. He's got the boxing ability, the charisma, the looks to go with it. And I think if I can help him strengthen his brand, his championship brand in the ring, and that accelerate that same brand out of the ring, we're gonna see a lot more from Tulani and Benge out of the boxing ring. And I think um, that's something that I've worked on in my career, is trying to build a brand. Yes, you have to win fights. Yes, you have to be a beast in there, but there's also life out of the ring and how you conduct yourself, how you network, who you surround yourself with and I want to help him and assist him with that because I think then we can see the true potential of Tulani and Benge who can become a household name in boxing. When they talk boxing they can talk Tulani and Benge. He's a welterweight. Floyd Mayweather is a welterweight. Mark Tyson's a heavyweight. I want to help Tools become that brand. That brand out of the ring. In the ring to the boxing people, the purists, no this guy's a beast. Out of the ring, who knows Tulani and Benge? 
and I feel we could leverage more of that because he needs to be known, not just because of his boxing talents, but he's got the charisma and the whole package to go with it. And I want to help him build that package. I want to help him build that brand. I'm not there to make him a better fighter. I want to help him become a better brand ambassador, a brand ambassador for the sport and a brand ambassador for himself so he can excel out of the ring. To follow the progress of Team Lorena and the other teams of the Ryobi 2022 One Quit Crew, visit onequitcrew.co.za.